Hi, my name is Molly, and this is my human Barbara. The nice people at Children's of Alabama have asked me to give you a little tour of the hospital so you will know how to get around and what is available to you during your stay here. You most likely are watching this tour on the Get Well Network in your room. Get Well has lots of fun games, the internet, and information that will help you to be healthy. For now, let's get started with a tour of children's. Let's start right here at the crosswalk from the 5th Avenue parking deck. We will end at the crosswalk at the 7th Avenue parking deck. Here we go! Wow! Check out those wagons! That's a lot! I hear those are used for the convenience of patients for getting from one place to the next. Next to the wagons is the Patient Health and Safety Department. They provide health education information for patients, families, staff, and the community. Next to it is a business center, which provides computers, a copy machine, and a place for you to work while you're here. The internet service is free and available throughout the campus. Right around the corner from the business office is a security guard. These nice people are here to make sure everyone has a visitor's badge or identification band before you get on the elevators to go to your room. Hey Molly, how you doing? Yeah, you need to go over to the desk right there and you'll get a badge and you'll be all set. If you don't have an ID band, the information desk is right behind you. They will take your picture and give you a badge. It's pretty cool and it's a safety rule to help protect everyone on campus. I don't know about you, but I'm really hungry. Oh, look, there is the market on Main Street. You can pick up a quick sandwich, bowl of soup, or other snacks. There are several other places in the hospital to get food, like the cafeteria and the ghost store, which are both located on the first floor in the McWayne building. You'll see more of those later. Let's get back on the blue tile. Oh, we call that the river around here. It will guide you to many places around the hospital where you might need to go, like this really cool gift shop. You can get all kinds of great things in there, but they don't sell dog food. If we stay on the river, it will guide us to an ATM machine. My human gets money out of there sometimes. I help when I can. The next thing on the river is the meditation room. It's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Across from the meditation room is the patient relations department. There are people there to help you with any concerns you may have during your stay here. As we continue down the river, the next area we will see is Children's Harbor. This is a great place for patients and families to go for a more home-like environment. Lots of cool things are in there, like a fitness room, salon, basketball court, and playrooms. Marriage and family counseling are available there, too. Now we're going to walk across a crosswalk that goes over 6th Avenue. It's kind of fun to look down at the cars going underneath. You will notice that we are still on the river and headed to the McWayne building. Let's get on these elevators. If we go up, we'll go to the patient care rooms and medical offices. We'll go down to the first floor where there are areas you are more likely to use when you're here. If we go to the left off the elevators, you will see our main chapel where services take place. And across from it is the ghost store where you can buy items like that in a grocery store. You can even order a hot dog and buy foods that are ready to eat. As we go back past the elevators, we enter the main lobby of the McWayne building. To the right is the outpatient pharmacy. You may purchase over-the-counter medicines and prescriptions here. At the center of the lobby is the information desk. The friendly folks there can provide directions and information as needed. At the desk, you may wish to take a moment and nominate a nurse for the DAISY Award, a recognition given monthly to a nurse providing outstanding and compassionate care. The following are other things that may be helpful to you while you're on campus. The Child Life Services Department provides age-appropriate growth and development activities for children while they're in the hospital. 
Additionally, patients are able to keep up with schoolwork through the hospital's Sunshine School, where certified teachers help patients stay current with classwork during their stay here. If needed, they can coordinate work assignments with the teacher back at school. For the safety of all our visitors and staff, the hospital enforces a no smoking policy. That means people can only smoke in certain areas outside the hospital. There are signs to indicate designated smoking locations. There is convenient parking in two parking decks, one on 7th Avenue South and the other on 5th Avenue South. When you enter the deck, be sure to pull a parking ticket and take it with you. Children's provides free parking for one car per patient. The free ticket can be validated at any information desk. Visitors can pay for parking at the parking ticket machines located on Main Street, the second floor, by either crosswalks leading to and from the parking decks. Once your ticket is validated, it's ready to use to get you out of the parking deck. By the way, the parking decks are no smoking areas. There are waiting areas on most of the patient care floors. Guests will need to check with the unit they are visiting to see when that area is open for visitors. Don't forget to wash your paws or hands a lot while you're here. And please do not visit anyone if you are sick. Be sure to check the Guide to Children's and your Unit Guide for more information. You can also visit the website at childrensal.org.